Hello and welcome to the HitWise webinar, Building Best Practice Dashboards. My name is Louise Stewart, Client Service Executive, and my role is to help our clients get the best from their HitWise subscription. Today's webinar will take between 15 and 20 minutes, helping to demonstrate the value and benefits of building a HitWise dashboard report that you can share with the wider business, keeping them one step ahead of your competitors and online trends. So, what would you get out of today's webinar? To start with, I'll introduce dashboards and the benefits they will deliver. I'll then take you through a clear step-by-step -step guide to building a dashboard in line with your online requirements. To help with this, I've picked out some best practice dashboard templates that we can share with you if you find any of these of value. These will include a key traffic driver dashboard, an event-driven dashboard, fast-moving search terms, search marketing, pitch pack for your sales team. And finally, I'll summarise what we have covered so that you can, you can go away and start building your own dashboard reports. So, what are the benefits of the dashboard? At Hitwise, we recognise the challenges you face in staying ahead of your online competitors' activity and being able to report quickly and easily any actionable insight that your business can act upon. We also know the risks of not integrating Hitwise within your standard reporting, which can lead to ill-timed, unsupported decisions and unsuccessful results. Hitwise Dashboards aims to address these risks with the following. By building dashboards to include the metrics that are most important to your business, allowing you to make actionable decisions at a glance. Monitoring your automated dashboards on a, on a daily, weekly and monthly basis to quickly identify and react to competitive trends. Publish and share dashboards across your whole organisation for increased visibility of your competitors' online activity. Align your HitWise dashboards with additional KPI reports to put further context into your online performance versus your competitors. And URL links to reports that can be saved to browser favourites and accessed at any time. Now that you all understand the benefits of dashboards, over the next few slides I'm going to show you how to start building dashboards so that you can start to share with your business. These slides will demonstrate how to add HitWise modules into a new dashboard report, how to add titles and annotations, how to format and move the modules around within the dashboard, and how you can share your dashboard with others. So, how do you start a dashboard? When you're looking at a report in HitWise and you want to add it to a dashboard, click your mouse on the bottom on the top right of the report called Add to Dashboard, which is highlighted in red here. Once clicked, it brings up a drop-down menu and gives you the option to add module to new dashboard. Click on this and name your dashboard. I've named mine here as Competitive Radar. If you look on the menu list on the left-hand side of Hitwise and click on Dashboards 2, your new dashboard is listed there, ready for you to view and add more modules. When you do add another report to your dashboard, instead of adding the module to a new dashboard like I've done above, you would select the name of your dashboard instead. Adding notes and annotations to your dashboard allows you to personalise the insight and make it relevant to the topic and audience. More importantly, it provides a valuable way of indicating new trends and opportunities that the wider business can then action and make decisions upon. You can modify each module to explain what the report is showing. You can use annotations to highlight actionable insight that your business can act upon quickly. And you can change the title of the module to suit your audience, as highlighted here. Don't forget to click the green tick after modifying so that it saves your amendments. You can format your dashboard and move modules around to best display your reports in the correct sequence. To move, to move modules around your dashboard page, first hover over your mouse over the modules that you actually want to move. Left click and hold down your mouse over the grey bar at the top of the module as seen in example here. Then drag your module to the position that you want. The module will go transparent like the image on the left. And when you let go of the module, it snaps into place. Sharing your dashboard is a great way to get important data to the whole of your business, whether it be your work colleagues or to a board of directors or even your agencies that you work with. 
Anyone can receive them, regardless of whether they are a HitWise user or not. This is free of charge. To share with others, open up your dashboard and click on the grey button labelled Distribute. This will bring up a box like the one shown here. In this box, you can choose to share your dashboard with other HitWise users, so you would choose Copy to Users and enter in your colleague's name. Or, if you want to share it with someone who is not a HitWise user, you would choose Share with Anyone and enter in the email address. As shown, you can also include a message to the recipients that can, that can again highlight any key findings that you notice. Once submitted, the recipient would then receive a URL link for them to click on and they will be able to view your dashboard. Another way of sharing or collating HitWise Insight with other data sources is using the Publish functionality. By clicking on the Publish button located at the top right of the module shown here, you will be provided a public URL that you can use to integrate with other data sources, for example Site Catalyst or an iGoogle dashboard. This is a very powerful way of using HitWise to complement any, any other insight as well as generating good PR. So now we're going to look at some best practice dashboard templates that I've picked out to showcase the range of reports you can include within a dashboard. If you find any of these templates useful, please contact your client development manager who can share an example with you. The first template we're going to look at is a key traffic driver dashboard, a valuable report that can help determine which sites or sectors are driving the most traffic to your sector or competitor's website. This report may be of particular use to anyone working in the customer acquisition team, for example an e-commerce or affiliates manager. The first example shows what websites are receiving traffic from the industry social networking and forums. Charting it over time allows us to see any uplift of reduction of traffic to each website from social networking sites. The second example shows the reliance on traffic from search engines. Again, charting it over time will help keep abreast of your competitors' search strategy should they increase or decrease their PPC activity. The final module is an example of showing which companies are receiving the most traffic from email services. In the run-up to Christmas, for example, this is a very powerful report for planning your email campaigns smartly against your competitors. Another type of dashboard you may consider building is around a particular event that is key to your sector. This could be Christmas, a particular sporting event, or the end of your financial year for ICES, for example. In today's example, I'm using an event-driven dashboard built around the 2012 Olympics. <clears throat> With the London Olympics fast approaching, this is a great way to keep on top of how consumers are searching for London 2012 Olympics and how you can use these terms to optimise your content to maximise exposure for this, of this inevitable demand. Two reports picked out from this dashboard is the top search terms relating to the London 2012 Olympics. The left report shows the top search terms for that particular week. The other chart search terms over time, helping you decide when to launch any Olympic related campaigns and what keywords you should include within your content or your copy. A fast-moving search term is a valuable dashboard that can continually keep you up to speed with new or recurring terms delivering traffic to your sector and competitors. Search is a fantastic indicator of demand, so using this dashboard to steer and optimise content is recommended, particularly for someone in your content or search editorial team. The examples that I've picked out here relate to the online savings industry. The table on the left is showing what are the fast moving search terms from last week that contain the keyword ISA. This can help refresh your content with new terms that you were not aware of or prioritise the keywords within your PPC campaign to meet the new demand. The table on the right is showing what search terms containing the term savings rate are being searched for this week compared to last week, again helping to keep one step ahead of how consumers search for this financial product. Remember, we track over 50 million search terms a week, so building a fast-moving search terms dashboard for your industry will allow you to have all your keywords on one page and at your fingertips. Building a search marketing dashboard 
will be invaluable to your search marketing manager or your agency. Our report can pull together a whole suite of search reports available within Hitwise, such as search terms to a website or industry, popular search term variations by paid or organic rate, gap analysis of keywords against your competitors, just to name a few. In this example, we are looking at the most popular variations of the keyword hotel, charted over time by their paid rate. By doing this, you can plan and execute your PPC campaigns at the right time to maximise your click-through rate. Remember, your dashboards update automatically every week so you can continually plan your PPC budget more effectively. This next example shows you what websites are receiving traffic from the search term hotels in Brighton by their paid rate. Here you can monitor over time your competitor's paid strategy on keywords you are competing on as well as identify any new affiliates that are successfully receiving traffic from this term. The last report shows the paid rate of various websites over time. Again, you can plan and execute your PPC campaign smartly in line with seasonal trends, knowing when key competitors are increasing their PPC spend by the jump in traffic to their website. This example is for pitch pack dashboards. The purpose of this dashboard is to showcase your online strength against your competitors. Whether it's winning new business or protecting a current relationship, dashboards provide a very digestible and powerful layer of insight that your sales team can arm themselves with. I've taken a random sample example here to demonstrate how you could use dashboards within your sales collateral, showcasing the online performance of the website Bike Radar against its competitors. The first report uses the rankings report to clearly differentiate the volume of visits to Bike Radar against their competitors. Your pitch pack can also be used to show the consistency of visits to your website versus your competitor over seasonal peaks, therefore demonstrating to a prospective adv advertiser or partner that you continuously, continually attract a greater volume of visits compared to your competitors. For those of you unfamiliar with Mosaic, it is Experian's offline house segmentation system to profile the UK population into different groups and types. Marrying this up with Hipwise, we can determine the types of audiences visiting a site or a sector. Within a pitch pack dashboard, Mosaic can help demonstrate to prospective advertisers and partners the strengths and diversity that your website attracts versus your competitors. So by the end of this webinar, you would hopefully be able to build dashboards to include the metrics that are most important to your business. Monitor your automated dashboards on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. And publish and share dashboards across your whole organisation. I hope you found this webinar on best of practice dashboards useful. If you'd like more information on dashboards or a copy of any of the template dashboards that I've used in today's webinar, please get in touch with your Heatwise Client Development Man Manager. Finally, the slides and recordings of today's webinar will be available in due course. Thank you for